Are you looking to add a furry friend to your family, but not sure which breed to choose? Welcome to the Canine Conundrum, a world where picking the right dog can feel as complex as solving a Rubik's Cube blindfolded. Just like you wouldn't marry someone without knowing if they prefer the beach or the mountains, you wouldn't want to bring home a high-energy border collie if you're more of a Netflix and chill person. You see, different dog breeds have different needs, temperaments and lifestyle preferences, just like us humans. Do you want a small lap dog to cuddle with while you watch the latest season of The Crown? Or do you need a four-legged gym buddy who will accompany you on your daily five-mile run? Or perhaps you're looking for a gentle giant to keep your kids entertained? Choosing a dog breed is like choosing a life partner. You need to consider compatibility, lifestyle, and of course, whether you both enjoy the same TV shows. Size matters. And no, we're not talking about that latest 75-inch TV you've been eyeballing. We're talking about the size of your future canine companion. It's a tiny terror versus the gentle giant, and both come with their unique quirks and challenges. Imagine this, a chihuahua, a tiny, taco-loving terror that could fit in your pocket. But don't be deceived by their size. These little ones pack a punch, or rather a bark that can rival any large breed. They're feisty, they're fierce, and they're not afraid to take on the world. With a personality that often outweighs their physical size, Chihuahuas are known for their larger-than-life attitudes. They're the small dogs with the big dog personalities. On the other hand, we have the gentle giants, the Great Danes, the St. Bernards, the Newfoundlands. They're big, they're brawny, and they often forget just how big they are. You've probably seen the hilarious videos of Great Danes who think they're lap dogs trying to curl up on their owner's lap, blissfully unaware of their size. These gentle giants are often the most loving, docile and calm dogs you'll ever meet. But their size also means they need more space, more food and often more slobber. Both small and large breeds come with their own set of perks and challenges. Small dogs are perfect if you live in an apartment or don't have a lot of physical space, although their big personalities might need a bit of reining in. Large dogs, while requiring more space and food, are often more laid back and make great companions for families with children. So when choosing a dog, think about the size and what it means for both you and your future furry friend. Remember, a small dog might fit in your handbag, but it might also have the personality of a lion, and a big dog might require a bigger bed than yours. It's a battle of the sexes, doggy style. Now let's talk about the dapper dudes and the dainty divas of the dog world. Because, you know, when it comes to canine companions, gender can play a part in behaviour. First up, let's talk about the boys. Male dogs, generally speaking, are all about marking their territory. You know the drill. They see a tree, a lamppost, your favourite pair of shoes, and they think, well, that needs a bit of eau de mai on it. It's their way of saying, I was here and I was magnificent. They're like little canine graffiti artists, leaving their mark wherever they go. On the flip side, we have the ladies. Female dogs are often seen as more independent, a bit like the queens of the canine kingdom. They're sassy, they're classy, and they're a tad bit bossy. They don't need to pee on everything to make a statement. They just give you that look, you know the one, that says, I'm fabulous and I know it. It's like they've got their own little tiara, even if you can't see it. But remember, these are just broad strokes. Each dog, regardless of gender, has its own unique personality. You might find a male dog that loves to lounge around like a diva or a female dog that's as territorial as a knight defending his castle. So while gender can provide some clues about a dog's behavior, it's not the be all and end all. In the end, it all comes down to connection. It's about finding that four-legged friend who matches your energy, complements your lifestyle, and fits into your heart. So, whether you prefer a diva or a dude, remember, every dog has its day. And with the right love and care, every day can be a dog's day. It's all about finding the right match for you. And when you do, it's a bond that lasts a lifetime. Are you a gym bunny or more of a Netflix and chill kind of person? This is a question you need to consider seriously when selecting your canine companion. Imagine for a moment you're a fan of lazy Sunday afternoons, cuddling up in your cosy blanket and binge-watching your favourite series. Suddenly, 
A border collie, the Einstein of the dog world and an energy powerhouse, bounds into the room, dropping a slobber-covered ball into your lap. Border collies, originally bred for herding sheep, have an insatiable need for physical and mental stimulation. So, while you're trying to figure out who the killer is in the latest crime drama, your collie is plotting how to herd your goldfish. On the flip side, let's say you're a fitness enthusiast. You wake up at the crack of dawn, ready for a 10-mile run. Your bulldog, however, has other plans. Bulldogs are the embodiment of a couch potato with a love for sleep that rivals that of a hibernating bear. So, while you're lacing up your running shoes, your bulldog is snoring away, dreaming of bacon and belly rubs. In the world of dogs, there's a spectrum of energy levels, from the hyperactive Jack Russell Terriers to the laid-back Basset Hounds and everything in between. It's important to match your lifestyle with the energy level of your dog. If you're a person who loves outdoor activities, breeds like the Labrador Retriever, Australian Shepherd or the Vizsla could be your perfect partner in crime. They love long walks, hikes, and would probably beat you in a swimming race. On the other hand, if a relaxed and quiet life is more your speed, the Shih Tzu, Cavalier King Charles Spaniel, or the lovable Pug might be the best fit. They're more than content with a short walk and a good snuggle session. Remember, a mismatch between your lifestyle and your dog's energy level can lead to frustration and even health problems for your furry friend. So, when you're choosing your perfect pooch, keep in mind, choose wisely, or you might end up with a dog that has more marathon medals than you. Do you live in a shoebox or a mansion? Your dog doesn't care, but it might affect which breed you choose. Now let's consider the comedy of space, shall we? Picture a Saint Bernard, a breed that could easily be mistaken for a small bear, attempting to navigate the narrow corridors of a studio apartment. The coffee table is a constant adversary, and those little porcelain figurines on the shelf, they're living on borrowed time. But don't think for a moment that a tiny dog is always the answer for small living spaces. Imagine a feisty dachshund, a little dog with a big personality in a sprawling villa. The echo of its bark might make you think you're living with a pack of wolves, and the sight of it charging across the vast living room could be mistaken for a particularly dramatic nature documentary. Then there's the greyhound, a breed that might surprise you. These racing dogs are often perfectly content to be couch potatoes, making them ideal for apartment living. Just make sure you have a comfy sofa, because they're going to claim it as their own. Contrarily, a Jack Russell Terrier, small but bursting with energy, might find an apartment too confining. These little dynamos need space to burn off that endless energy, unless you want your cushions to become their personal chew toys. And let's not forget the Border Collie, a dog bred for working in the great outdoors. Give them a backyard, and they'll give you a meticulously herded group of squirrels, whether you ask for it or not. But remember, it's not just about the size of your home, but also the size of your heart. Whether you have a pocket-sized Pomeranian prancing around your penthouse, or a bumbling bulldog bounding through your bungalow, each breed brings its own unique charm and challenges. In the end, whether you live in a castle or a cupboard, there's a dog breed out there for you. So, which breed is the one for you? It's like finding the perfect pair of shoes, isn't it? Except the shoe can bark and might chew your favourite slippers. To recap, size does matter. Tiny terrors or gentle giants, the choice is yours depending on the space you have and how much you'd like to play tug of war. And then, male versus female dogs. Remember the diva-esque drama or the macho mischief? It's a pick-your-own-adventure kind of decision. Now, are you an athlete or a couch potato? Do you want a four-legged gym buddy or a furry friend who's happy to binge watch your favorite shows with you? Lastly, habitat hilarity. Whether you're an apartment dweller or a backyard enthusiast, there's a tail-wagging, face-licking companion for you. Remember, the best dog for you is the one that matches your lifestyle, whether it's a high-energy athlete or a diva with a taste for the finer things in life.